Well, I guess that's how it works. Uh, you announce a new series on Monday, and on Tuesday there's already a new app update you have to talk about. This is The Changelog, Episode 2. Today we're talking about Drafts, version 26. Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and today is Episode 2 of The Changelog. The Changelog is a series I'm doing where I do video versions of the release notes for some of the most notable app updates out there. So this update is all about theming. Theming the app more, uh, customizing the syntax, highlighting more. This is stuff that you weren't able to do nearly to this extent previously. Previously there was some built-in stuff that you could use and you could change like different light mode and dark mode themes and you could choose syntax highlighting for like plain text, markdown, I think it had HTML and that sort of stuff. But there wasn't everything you could imagine. You couldn't change everything. Now there's a whole lot more flexibility and there's much easier ways to get these custom themes and custom syntax highlighting options into the app. And so basically when you are on your draft, you can hit the AA button down at the bottom right, and then you can change the look and feel of everything. And there's a themes tab you can go to and a syntax tab as well that you can go to and you can download custom things from the web. Uh, you can use the pre-built ones, you can make your own. So if you wanna make your own, what I'd recommend is downloading a theme that looks pretty close to what you want and then exporting it as a JSON file. And then you can modify that JSON file to modify the text size, to modify the color scheme that's used. And there's a lot there, it's not super simple, but if you know your way around a JSON file, you can probably do pretty well here. I think this is really, really cool. Uh, some people have already made some cool themes. It just came out today, so it's really only people with early access who have done the uh, some of the advanced theming stuff that's now available. So I expect more of those to show up. I'll put links to those in the description so you can find syntax highlighting themes and just general look and feel themes for the app. I think this is really cool and really draws me in as someone who's concerned with design and having some control over how things look. Just yesterday I talked about how I love some of the new theming options that are available in Ulysses, and now uh, Drafts uh, basically one-ups it with even more control, so I'm super excited about playing around with this. If I can make a theme that I like, I'll try to put a link in the description as well, or a comment up top so you can download the A Better Computer theme if you want kind of a red and purple sort of UI for the thing. Not promising that, but I'm going to try to make that, and if I do, you'll see it down below. Even though theming is the big thing in this update, there are some other things available. Uh, you can version action groups now. Previously, you were only able to version individual actions to save versions of those and go back to them at a later date. Now you're able to save versions of your whole groups. So if you want to rearrange your actions, you can do that and then revert back to an old version if you made some mistakes and kind of just want to go back to that old style. That's pretty cool. Uh, they've added some automatic closing of things like parentheses and quotes and stuff that the app didn't do previously. Uh, there's a new pink accent color. And by the time I'm saying there's a new pink accent color, you know that's really the end of it. Uh, there's some bug fixes as well. I'll of course leave a link to the full release notes in the description so you can check those out for iOS and macOS. Uh, but basically all of this is available on both platforms. And yeah, that is an update. That's Drafts 26 uh, out today. It's a free update for anyone uh, using Drafts, uh, which again is a free app, but there is a subscription for some of the pro functionality. And that is, uh, that's it. So thank you so much for watching this changelog and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.